I am about to embark on quite an epic journey. Well, job well done then, and the, the use of this machine then is proving itself. So happy to have you along anytime. Good morning everyone and welcome to another episode of Shimwari TV and I can't say welcome to Shimwari Private Game Reserve because I'm not on Shimwari Private Game Reserve. So this episode is going to be a, a little bit different. Um, I currently am finding myself in a very very long line of traffic. Uh, I have made my way through to Johannesburg. I am about to embark on quite an epic journey. Well, alrighty guys, so um, the one thing you probably don't know about me is um, I'm actually a pilot as well. One of the, the many different uh, things that I'm able to do on Shimwari. And um, yeah, I am here with Caroline and we are at 303 Squadron Air School. And we are here to pick up a gyrocopter aircraft, an auto gyro, and we are flying it all the way from Johannesburg, which is way up in the north of the country, all the way back down to Shimwari, which is uh, just over a thousand kilometers. And it's all quite exciting. So, uh, yeah, enjoy the adventure. We'll keep you updated. Seeing the world from a bird's eye view is always an epic experience and truly gives perspective to the beautiful country that South Africa is. Our first refueling stop was near Kroenstadt. A local farmer and fellow gyro pilot Ashley Whitfield lent us a gracious hand, provided some amazing coffee, fueled us up and we were back in the skies in no time. After an early start to the day and a good couple of hours of flying, it was time for a stopover at Tempe Airfield close to Bloemfontein, pretty much in the middle of South Africa. We stopped over to refuel and have a quick bite to eat. It was now time to start heading south towards Shamwari, and this is where the geography of the country started to change and get more mountainous. And as the afternoon was drawing to a close, we finally got the amazing sight of the Kharib Dam. We made our way to the aerodrome and safely landed at the airfield. Good morning everyone. On the airstrip at uh, Kharib Dam, uh, leg two, day two of, uh, of our epic journey across SA. Caroline and myself doing, uh, doing super well. Uh, it was an epic journey yesterday. Absolutely. Uh, I got super sunburnt. Uh, rule number one, open cockpit, remember suntan cream. Uh, things you learn, but anyway, so yeah, there's a uh, there's our, our gyro uh, that we are traveling in, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll show you lots more along the way. But uh, for now, we're gonna do start ups and take off, and uh, last last leg through to Shimari. Our second day started nice and early again, and once we were in the air, I was again taken aback by the beauty of the South African landscape. It's absolutely stunning from the air. Having covered most of the distance on day one, there was only a little bit of the journey left for day two. A few hundred kilometers meant that we only needed to stop over in Craddock to refuel. And once we were back in the air, the sights of a full and flowing Bushman's River announced our arrival back onto Shimwari Private Game Reserve. So it was an epic flight from Joburg uh, all the way down here to the Eastern Cape at Shimwari. It was so great having Caroline on board. It was an incredible journey and we finally made it. We landed safely and as you can see Andrew's back behind the camera. I'm behind the controls and over the next few days we're going to spend flying around the reserve, 
putting it through its paces. We're going to learn what the machine can do here and just obviously utilizing it to help find game, uh, checking fences, watering holes, all of that type of stuff and really using it to, uh, to good use here in the Eastern Cape. So there will be a bit more footage uh, as we're flying around here and we'll bring you the next uh, little bit shortly. Stick around. Well, welcome back again guys. So I spent the last couple of days with Caroline from 303 Squadron Flight School just making sure that I'm proficient in this area, I understand the aircraft, I understand this area and it's been a great and valuable training but uh, time for this machine to start doing what it was intended for and uh, this is Alex our animal monitor and she's she's with us this morning to tell us what she needs to go and do. Yeah so today I'd like to look for black rhino. There are two sub adults that I'm missing and hopefully this plane will give us the little boost we need to find them. Alex, when you're ready, let's uh, suit up, set up, ears on and head off. All right, I'm excited. <laughs> Well, there we go, Alex. Uh, what a beautiful flight. There's so much water around, the grass is green, the weather conditions were absolutely ideal and I got you back on the ground safely. So was that Very useful for you? Yeah. No, that was amazing. Yeah. We did so much, um, we covered so much ground in a short space of time and we actually found a, a black rhino and I think it's one of the ones that I was looking for. So that was incredible. Well, job well done then and the, the use of this machine then is proving itself. So happy to have you along anytime. Well, there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short episode on uh, the introduction to the Shimari Air Wing, I suppose you can call it, and this fantastic machine. Uh, it's going to be the first episode of many. We're going to be utilizing it. We are going to show you guys more uh, of this machine as it's operating and what I'm doing. Uh, so, yeah, we really hope you stick around, carry on watching the videos, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. We'll see you again soon. Until then, be safe.